got a nice day, so we're taking advantage of it. I had to uh, screw in a few more screws on the uh, roofing panels, just a couple more uh, that I didn't uh, finish off with, so I got that done. Um, I squared off the frame and got those spikes in it, and so that's all in there, so we're 100% done with the carport and um, so now we're gonna go in and I'm gonna show you how the greenhouse looks uh, the tunnel and uh, we'll go from there so we have my son doing a little watering here and uh, keeping everything all nice inside the tunnel um, what I did in here is I just pushed all this um, shade cloth up so we can get full sun inside here uh, we still have had some freezing conditions in the uh, as far as the weather so these plants are still hanging in there um, there's a little yellowing on the kale and uh, you know some of the cabbage is I, is still, you know, it's kind of hanging in there and some are doing good, some are ready to harvest already, um, but uh, some are still growing and doing their thing. Uh, the green cabbage is doing really well and uh, so I think they like how things are going in here. Uh, there is a couple yellowing, uh, so I think we just got to keep on the watering, keep them happy with their water. Um, the tomatoes are completely roasted. I haven't even pulled them out, but that's what my plan is today. To pull all these tomato plants out. Uh, pull everything out over here. This is uh, Everything's already pulled out. I just have to get it out of here. And then I'll just throw it in a compost area, which is behind here. I'm composting yeah. right over here. So I'm just going to pull these... Um, summer stuff over here that is just toast everything's just roasted and uh and then we'll um just kind of get through uh the winter uh the plan is also i got some plastic like these signs oh these are onions by the way and carrots are still they're doing fine but we'll harvest everything all the green onions that we want and then um i have these um vinyl signs that I got from the um, garden center I worked at and, and from there uh, they're throwing them out so I'm gonna cover this whole area with those signs and, uh, and see if that'll help with the with the thaw you know come spring um, all those tomatoes are toast I mean everything's just Obviously, the tomatoes do not like this cold. Are they nice <laughs> and as for the spinach, I just got a few plants and they just did not come up. I, you know, I, the seed that I had was a year old, so it didn't do well at all. So we're going to squash that. Um, I had some kale that was. Um, pretty much you know sparse throughout this bed so I just grabbed it and bunched it up over there put all the plants that were doing well and I put them over there but still you can see some of it's got that purpley color which is not a good sign uh, so I just have a few red Russian kale plants going here uh, so mainly what we are, have been harvesting is this uh, curly kale, the winter boar, which we love. Uh, we've been making a lot of dishes with that. Uh, there's your little random cabbage. But as you can see, I do have these posts in the ground, specifically on these corners, so we can drag the hose and not uh, get the hose on the plants and trample on top of them. I, I told Justin Rose to do the same thing, uh, so 
he can water properly and not smash his plants. One thing I do want to tell you about this tunnel and my placement, you'll see right here, all these trees. It's getting shade here and it's not quite as open. Um, and with the fall and everything and uh, how the sun is coming down, um, I don't know if this was the best placement for this but I like it anyways, it, it's uh, working well for me, but uh, just want you guys to know that, you know, keep an eye on you know, your trees, the shade that they're gonna be coming in and putting on any tunnel that you plan on putting. If it's more in an open area, you're probably gonna be better off. And after a little bit of work today, I had transferred i took out all these tomato plants that were here there was a random um red russian kale plant i left it uh but that right there is the brussels sprouts that were out here in this last bed over here so i went ahead took those out and um cleaned that bed up a little bit um, and also clean this bed up. This is where the pumpkins were that didn't do so hot. Um, there's still some carrots, uh, green bunching, uh, bunching onions, and then I cleaned up uh, the um, squash bed, took out the, um, the watermelon. Now what I did with these, uh, and I'm going to try it, this is just going to be a little trial thing, but I stuck some of the fruit that was out here and I just put it inside the ground. Uh, it was I just shoved them in there and we'll see if perhaps, because I broke them open a little bit and then I shoved them in the dirt. And I did that also with the, um, the watermelon. I broke those open, seeds were coming out and uh, put those in there. And I also built a mound in the center of the tomato um, bed here and put the old tomatoes in there. So we'll see what happens, you know. It doesn't hurt to try. And if we have any germination come spring, then cool. Uh, there were some nasty tomato plants over here. You can still see some tomatoes that... Um, just fell down and, and I just left them. Um, I'm really not going to be using this so much. Uh, it was just, again, a little trial um, kind of uh, bed area. Um, so we'll just see what happens uh, if we get any germ. That'd be cool, huh? So there's our garden update edition uh, and preparedness through the winter. We'll see how, how much this uh, tunnel's gonna do for us for extent, extension, season extension. Uh, this is um, new to me, so um, this was all the plan to, to get uh, more prepared for winter and see how far we can go into winter and then come out uh, into spring for that planting session. So I'll keep you guys up to date with that. Uh, hope all's well. Talk to you on the next one.